here it comes. Ben loves to play with trucks and tractors. Anything that's got wheels on it, he loves to play with that. Very playful, very loving, typical boy. When Ben was born, he was born with a heart defect, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. His left ventricle was severely underdeveloped so that it couldn't pump blood out to his body. And he had his first surgery, and after his first surgery, he did really well for the next six months. And then he had his second surgery, and that's when things kind of went downhill. I thought, you know, if Ben could talk, I think he would say, Mom, I need a new heart. I want a new heart. That's what made me say, okay, let's do this. And then he had his transplant surgery in June. To get the news that the transplant was successful was absolutely amazing. It felt a big relief to know that everything went well. And we were just so grateful that he was doing well and that we are going to be able to see him with a new heart. Three. Oh, you got me. Our family lives oh, about two and a half hours from <laughs> Omaha. So when we do come down to Omaha and we need to stay the night, we always stay at the Rainbow House. At Children's, we see some of the smallest and sickest patients, which means longer hospital stays and incredible financial pressures on families. In 2015, the new Carolyn Scott Rainbow House opened its doors to patient families from more than 60 miles away. It has increased our ability to provide a home away from home for thousands seeking children's premier pediatric services. Thanks to Carolyn Scott's efforts and the support from generous donors over the years, families have had a comforting place to stay since 1983. It definitely makes coming to the hospital easier when we know that we have a place like this. Let's put them together. So we have totaled up the number of days we have stayed in the Rainbow House, and it has been just well over, slightly over 365 days. We're very familiar with it. Look at all this. Benjamin loves going into the playroom. They're different toys from what he has at home. He usually doesn't want to leave the place. By intercom, the captain on the flight deck says hello. It is a place for families to go and just be a family and I know for me it's just been um, a place where I can recharge my batteries and kind of take time for me because I realize when I take time for me then I again I'm a better parent and I can take better care of Ben. Hi Benjamin. As long as we've been in Omaha for Ben's surgeries and times that he's been in the hospital if we would have had to pay for a hotel all that time, I don't know if we could have done it. An airport is a place you go to take a trip by air. So having this here has been a huge burden off our shoulders that we haven't had to worry about that. It was so nice to have a place to be relieved like emotionally and physically and mentally and, and you didn't have people knocking at your door and needing Ben to have a med or needing to talk to you about Ben's health. It was just basically an escape. It's so nice to have our own shower. It's nice to have our own bed and even just the TV. And also they provide meals too so we can come here and eat. Is that good? It's just nice to know that when we have to come down here for whatever reason, whether it's a checkup or a long stay that we might have to have, that we don't have to worry about finding a place that, that this is here for us. Those are things that we just are extremely grateful for that we have when we come and stay here. To make this place a home for so many families. We are so grateful, we feel blessed that we have a place to come to when we are going through a challenging time with our son Benjamin. So thank you very much.